Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to control your Xbox One using your Android phone or iPhone with the new Xbox One application. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So that is right, Xbox has redesigned their phone application and it looks absolutely excellent and it's much easier to use. So let's go to the Google Play Store and quickly get it. Let's just search for Xbox now. And this will be the application. It's called Xbox by Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and install it and open it up and sign in with your email address and password associated with your account. So this is the main page where I can go ahead and see information about the Xbox One, my friends list. Right at the top by the notification bell, you can kind of see an Xbox with a streaming kind of thing around it. If you go ahead and press that, it'll bring up this menu where you can set up a console. When you go to set up console, you have two different options. You can set up a new one or add an existing one. Go ahead and select one of those to set up your Xbox One. Mine is already set up just by connecting to the Wi-Fi. I was able to connect to it automatically and having my Xbox One on the same Wi-Fi as my phone, it was really easy to sync it up. So if we go back here, here, we have three different options under this menu now. We have remote play on this device. You can control your Xbox One and play on your Xbox One. So if I want to stream Halo to my phone, I could do that right now. Then you have open remote control, manage console, and games. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to control your Xbox One. So I'm going to open control, and I'll select this, and I'll bring up this menu. Now I have full control of my Xbox One. If you look in the background, I'm going to go ahead and swipe down and I'm going down through the different menus on my Xbox one. You can tap a at any point in time. Then you have Y, X and B on the menu as well. Then you have the Xbox button right at the top. And this all seems like it works very well with very little leg. Then I even have a small keyboard right here at the bottom where I can go in and type in uh, chat if I need to. Then I have audio controls down here in case I need to increase the volume. Or if I'm watching something, I can go ahead and skip, pause, or play. Then if I go to the top by the X, I can hit the three little dots. It'll give me close remote, turn off console, switch consoles, or cancel. So if you're watching something on like YouTube or something, or you have some kind of stream application open up, it's nice to be sitting on the couch with your phone as opposed to your controller. The second way you can get to this menu if that doesn't show up is by going to the home screen. Then you got like three lines at the bottom that are horizontal. You can select that and go to your Xbox One and it'll bring you back to this same menu. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.